Okay, we have a ton to go over today, so make sure that you stick around and watch this video until the end because I promise you it's going to be well worth it. We're going over three main things today, but at the end of this video, I am going to give you the link where you can go and check out that brand new course that I mentioned at the uh, the end of last week, the Beginner's Do-It-Yourself Credit Repair Course, and I am so excited to be launching that. But let's get to this. Now, if you are wondering, like, a ton of the consumers who call me all the time why am I not getting the results that I need I'm doing what you're saying in the videos I'm following this I'm following that but it's just not working or I'm following what they're telling me and it's not working I'm going to give you a couple of reasons and a couple of solutions and it all starts with your credit report and let me just give you a main example now most of the time people call me and they're like hey I'm getting my credit report from Credit Karma or Experian or Equifax or some of these other sites that just don't provide the information that we need now what am I talking about well if you just look at Experian versus smart credit and you can find my links and caveat they are affiliate links down in the description but smart credit and identity IQ are the only two sites outside of my score IQ which is genetically the same as identity IQ but those are the only two sites that I would recommend that you go and get your credit report not from free annual credit report or annual credit report.com very simply because number one you're not looking at consistent information report to report next to each other and number two because hey guess what when you go and you get your credit report from there you're giving the credit bureaus more time to process your dispute okay so if you are trying to get this thing kind of over anytime soon you know you just gave them more time because they get an additional 15 days instead of 30 so now it's 45 just because you went and you got your credit report from there so Outside of that, let's go and look at this. So Experian versus Smart Credit. Now we're only looking at four main factors, okay? Notice of dispute, date last reported, date last active, and date last paid. Now, if you've been following me for the nine years that I've been here on YouTube, you'll know that those are way at the top of the hierarchy. Those are the big guns, those are the high impact dispute elements, and we need to use them. But wait a second. Experian doesn't seem to have them. Sometimes they enter the notice of dispute in the comments, sometimes, but it is not all the time when it should actually be there, and it is not, and you're most of the time not looking at report to report next to each other. Um, so what's the benefit in using something if it's not providing us the information that we need? Well, that's what I'm asking you, okay? If you want to see consistent information, just check out my playlist on client wins, you know, where I show you, you know, credit reports that where I've gotten them in 60 days, 30 days, 90 days, anywhere between 100 to 350 points on their credit score. Well, all those reports come from Identity IQ and Smart Credit. So I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm trying to just kind of educate you on on the fact that the very number one reason that most people don't get results is because you are not using the right information. The number two reason is you don't know how to use that information, right? You need to know, number one, what you're looking at, how to analyze it, how to identify inaccuracies and violations, and then what to do with them. How do I write that letter? How do I utilize these things that I found, right? Because you can have the date last active, but if you don't know what you're talking about, then it doesn't matter. What about the notice of dispute? What about the first day of delinquency? What about the date last reporting? Okay, if you don't know how to use these things, then you're kind of putting yourself in another position to just get verified. And we're going to also talk about what to do when, you know, they come back and say, hey, this has been verified. And you and I both know there's no investigation. So that was number one. Go and get your credit report in the right place. And again, down in the description, you'll find both links. Smart Credit is $29.99 per month. That is the one that I recommend. It shows more payment history and with factual disputes, more information can mean faster results. Number two, Identity IQ. My link will save you $8 per month. That's $100 annually. Why wouldn't you? If you already need it, why are you going to pay full price? And if you already have it but are paying more than $21.99 per month, then call them, cancel, and then use my link to go and sign up. Even if you don't want to talk about whether I can do a credit sweep for you, all that kind of stuff, that's cool. Get your credit report from the right place because you are the only one who is either going to benefit from it or not, okay? Now, the second thing, let's talk about disputes. 
All right, now you know where to pull your credit report, but what about those letters? You see, everybody out there on YouTube University wants you to believe that there's some 60-day process, some 30-day process, some 14-day process. Well, we could talk about that all day, but my main thing here is um, 14 days, really? You really screwed your credit report up, and you know, there's no judgment here, that we're just talking facts, right? You spent all those years screwing up your credit just to go to YouTube University, right, because everyone's a professor here, and you found that instant cure. We're talking about two weeks to fix years, right? And we're only talking about your credit, right? Credit is the one thing outside of your finances, but it also influences your finances, and you know that, right? Where are you working? Well. Couldn't you be working somewhere else if you had a better credit score? I would have to say yes. You and I both know that you could go out and get something else, but your credit is the one thing holding you back. It determines where you live, where you work, how much money you make, what you drive, how much you pay for your homeowner's insurance, how much you pay for your runner's insurance, whether you had to pay $21,000 down on your house or $65,000 or even $90,000, whether you had to pay 5%, 10%, 20%, whether you're paying 3% or 7% on your mortgage. It determines everything, even your car insurance rate. So why wouldn't you ensure that you are getting the lowest rates. And we do that by having the highest scores and the best credit. And we do that by sending out the right disputes and having a realistic expectation on how long this process is going to take. And anybody who knows anything about systems know that, hello, that word system right there, it's going to take time. If you just think about the justice system for a second, right? Any good lawyer is going to go in, you know, you got in trouble for something, doesn't matter what, but you hire an attorney and any good lawyer is going to go in and the very first thing that they're going to do is go and push it out, get an adjournment, right? And even the highest paid attorney cannot guarantee you that they're going to get you some sort of specific outcome, right? Because they don't control the judge or um, a jury or the prosecutor or even anybody for that matter but they can take the facts, right? And they can spin it in one way or another to prove, quote unquote, that you did not do whatever it was that you were accused of, right? They do it all the time. That's exactly what we're doing with factual-based disputes, right? Because we're gonna talk about this in a video a little bit, a little bit later this week, possibly tonight or tomorrow, but um, you have to understand that we have these laws, right? And we're going to talk about that in a second too, but we have these laws and you have to know how to utilize these laws. You can't just say, well, pursuant to this, you're required to do that. And so because you didn't, now you have to. No, we need to know how to force the bureaus and the creditors and the collectors to do certain things based on the laws that we are dealing with. And there's a very specific way to go about it because if it were as simple as just saying, hey, you did X, Y, Z, and because this law exists, now you instantly have to remove this from the credit report. Why did it go on there to begin with? Why did they violate if they knew that all you had to do was say X or Y or Z? They wouldn't have, right? This is not a simple process. And if you go into this believing these lies and the, you know, these sales gimmicks about, oh, this is so easy, then all you're doing is digging yourself a hole and you are trapping yourself. And each and every single time you go and you try to find these loopholes and all that kind of stuff, you're just putting yourself further and further behind and you're gonna end up boxing yourself in, okay? maybe. You have no idea who I am. Maybe this is the first video that you're seeing. Maybe you don't know that I've been doing this for nine years here alone on YouTube out of the 12 years in total that I've been doing this with my 1200 videos, right? Or maybe you do know that, but you don't know that I had multiple jobs where I only brought home $100 per week because my credit held me back from getting the jobs that I wanted, getting the career that I wanted, which obviously led me here to you, right? Maybe you don't know that as part of my husband and I, you know, sacrificing to get $45,000 in three years that prior to moving upstate, we lived in a closet size apartment. I'm pretty sure it was um, a closet and it wasn't an apartment sorry it was a room closet size room in an apartment where there was a bunch of other people who lived there where we were only the only ones who had a key to even getting in and out of that place a couple of blocks away from the Stapleton projects in Staten Island or how about the room that we rented from um, this nice chick who 
happened to walk around shirtless a lot because my husband was there. Um, but anyways, that was another room that we rented inside of an apartment inside of the projects a couple of blocks away from the water. Um, or how about all those jobs, like I was saying, where I only brought home about $100 per week. One of them, I worked 37 hours and brought home uh, about $141 in a week. Or how about when I worked for a life insurance company making calls trying to get people to come in for interviews thinking that they're coming in for a Sales, thinking that they're coming in for an administrative job just to find out that the interview was for a sales position for life insurance. My family got tired of hearing, only Mackie, only Mackie, only Mackie, I'm going. I've been there. I've been there. I know it. I went through it. And would you rather learn and listen from someone who has been there and made it? Right? Because I'm not making this video from my mom and dad's basement or from a room inside their house. This is my house. This is our house. It is 2,600 square feet. We have a corner house, a huge yard, and you know what? It is ours. It's ours that we got a great interest rate on because we have great credit, right? So that brings me to the next part. You see, I can make videos of all my cars and my house and blah, 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 but I'm not trying to sell you my lifestyle. I'm trying to help you get your own. I'm trying to help you get where you need to be. And the only way that you're going to do that is by having realistic expectations, right? That brings me to the next part. You see, everybody wants to sell you some sales gimmick or some overnight process, but the truth of it is they're all the same. 1681, the 609, the COPB process. Oh my God, we have the next instant cure to bad credit, but seems to me that when I look at it, they're literally all the same. So what's the only difference if we line them up like that? Well, the truth of the matter is that the only difference is their sales pitch. What they tell you, what you see on their website, what you see in their videos to get you to click on some button. And unfortunately, you're here watching this video, which means that you tried it and it didn't work or you bought it and you realized the truth of it, right? So just do me a favor. Don't get on the phone with me telling me that, oh, hey, I want you to do a credit sweep, but I want it to happen overnight because I've already tried everything you know, under the sun and it didn't work. So I need you to do it in 30 days. No, honey, it doesn't work like that. If it did, trust and believe I would put that price tag right on it because why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? There's 68 million people who need the same thing that you need, the same thing that I went through. So why wouldn't I put that price tag on it? It's because it doesn't exist. But what does exist is a solution. And the solution to this is because this doesn't work. So what happens when they verify it's accurate? What happens when that 1681 process doesn't work? What happens when the 609 doesn't work? What happens when you submit that CPB complaint and nothing happens? And you go to the AG and the BB and the FTC and you're sending all these letters and they just don't do anything. Unfortunately, because those other people didn't go through this process like me and didn't, you know, fix their credit and uh, remove 50,000 negative items from client credit files over the past four years like me, they have nothing to tell you after, hey, this is verified. Oh, well, just go to module two. Module two basically says that, um, you know, when they don't respond, that the credit bureaus are required to do X, Y, Z. And that, um, you know, when they verify is accurate, you probably just have to send the same thing all over again. No, 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 no. But with factual disputes, you see, I do tell you exactly what you need to do if they verify as accurate. I have a whole workshop on it. I have letters on it. I show you exactly how to attack these violations, okay? So would you rather go through this process where they're telling you a bunch of lies about how this is going to work overnight just to find out that it doesn't, or would you rather go through a process where I tell you don't bother with this because it's not going to work, but what does work is using their own information against them because it's irrefutable facts. And if they verify as accurate, then now what part is really, really simple? Evolution line, dispute funnel, and violation attack. And I show you exactly how to do that in my brand new beginner's course. And even if you don't check out the new beginner's course, which can be accessed pre-order, okay, if you wanna get a discount, send me to .co forward slash toolkit. But, and that is um, a discount that you can access until the release of my course this Saturday, the 15th, okay? But even if you don't wanna access that, I have 1,200 videos that show you exactly how to do this process correctly. All you gotta do is take the time to go through it, but if you don't want to, there's two other things. There's many, many things, but right now we'll talk about two. Number one, you can see if I can personally do a credit sweep for you, or number two, you can go check out this do-it-yourself credit repair course for beginners, okay? So, I mean, hey, you can go through this alone or you can go through this with someone who has been through it, 
who got the results and has the lifestyle that they're looking for, that they looked for, right? That would be me. So, choice is yours. It's completely and totally up to you, but what I will tell you is that there is no 14-day process. There's no 30-day process. There's no 60-day process. There's no 90-day process. You can get results in that time, but you're not going to clean up your entire credit file. And I'm not here to rain on your parade. I am here to help you, and the only way I'm going to help you is by helping you to get realistic expectations and then provide a solution for you. And that's exactly what this is. All right, so I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful week. And as part of my birthday celebration, which is the 16th, again, that course has a pre-order discount. So delivery is on April 15th, which is going to be when it is full price. And until then, today through um, Friday evening, you can go and save uh, 45%, all right? So that's it. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you later.